Hello. Now this is this is the big fire circle, and uh, the size of it is really laid out. And this is the east, and the east is the main portal because the sun comes up there. But it's also the entrance to the circle. And if you go to this portal, you come in here. And uh, there is the middle fire, six feet around. That's the basis, the dancing circle there are uh, the altars for the four quarters there is uh, food and especially water because water is very important when people dance all the night long until dawn and even after that because there's a ceremony they have to eat something keep their energy up but drink a lot of water because dehydration is the problem here is, this is the actual spot where at this time of the year, at this place, the sun comes up. So, it's the bird. In many traditions it's an eagle flying up. You see this pattern in the form of the altars in the Vedic tradition, but it comes back in many, many cultures and many traditions. These are prayer flags, flags that people have uh, made with good wishes, intentions. There are many colors and one of the meditations is that people go around the circle and read all of them. This is another, in this case, the altar for the north. There are four altars. These bales of hay are to sit on but they're not to rest. Resting is outside the circle. Resting is uh, for the people, they call them nesting areas, where you can sit if you're too tired and you step out of the action. This is for people who, for instance, when the sun comes up, people are standing here to do a sacrament. They give you a little dot on the forehead, a, a bindi with gold dust. Because this whole thing is seen as an alchemical process. But so these hails. These bales of hay are to rest or talk with someone, but rest in like meditation or being part of the circle. So from the east we go to the south. People add to these altars their own candles, their own objects. In the fire circle we have in the middle of course the stones, the circle. This here is the place for the musicians with a small outlined area for those people who want to make a special performance like a stage. And it's a good practice to when you dance and pass this point to thank the musicians, drummers. The instruments are here. Uh, one of the problems is that people have their own instruments so there is a, for those who didn't bring an instrument, here is the table. This is called the uh, percussion altar and you can take any tool and do. Many times the drums are also available. In the north and then here we have uh, the west and uh, by chance this is the place where uh, uh, they keep the instruments and it's related of course to this place where the musicians sit. The details are very thought out so uh, the bird is there and there is a certain of course that is the spot not only where the sun comes up but it fits in the landscape. And this is the wood and uh, the function of the people that are the tenders of the wood, uh, that tenders of the fire, 
they have a special responsibility. And uh, that responsibility is not alone bringing the wood and keeping the fire in a, in a good mood. And that doesn't mean always to keep it very high. The good uh, fire people, and many of them are from Hawaii, are they have a bonding with the fire. And they try not only to make it very big at times, but also make it a little bit smaller to go with the mood of the crowd. Actually controlling the crowd, because a bigger fire has more energy. But we not always need that, we need soft songs too. Security is an aspect, here you see uh, fire extinguishers, and there's special people assigned for taking care of you know, possible accidents, people falling into the flames. That is a possibility because the dancing goes around this circle and in the circle and it's a very heavy and long-lasting thing. We start here at around 11 in the evening when the sun is down and it goes on till dawn. That is 6, 7 in the morning but because this area there's a huge tree, the sun actually reaches the, the circle only maybe 7, 30, 8 o'clock and uh, actually to start the end, the ending ceremony, the closing of the whole thing is done by having a mirror up there where those guys are standing and they have a mirror that catches the sun and projects it back into this space here. There's also the time that uh, some special sacraments uh, rituals are done like this uh, bindi with gold dust to mark the end of the alchemical process. The process of the fire, of calcification, of the alchemical steps of using the fire to find the stone of wisdom, the stone of the philosophers, but to make the gold and as many understand the alchemical process is an internal process and ends with gold. But it's symbolized and maybe even fortified by things like this goldest bindi point. There are other sacraments and rituals like the handing out of uh, water, charged water, uh, using uh, oblations in the fire and many more uh, things that come from the people themselves. The whole idea of this fire dance is not that there are performers, there is a, a fire master of the fire and there is an organization, but the thing is basically something that is done by the people, for the people, with the people, they are the participants, they are the musicians, they are the priests. They have the opportunity to come in and do their own ritual, song, poetry, whatever. The condition of course being that it kind of fits in, but everybody is very careful about not infringing on and to the mood of the moment with their thing. They wait for a quiet moment to do their poetry, to do their thing. And the whole situation leads to a, a state where love is really the main experience. People experience a very deep, deep love, being here, dancing around the circle and connecting with each other, connecting with the fire and using those transformational qualities of the fire. Jeff McBride, you're the uh, 
yeah, how do you call yourself in this uh, environment? Well, I'm just one of the coordinators, kind of the artistic director, one of the organizers, yes. and, and planners. And your thing is this fire circle especially? Well, this is I'm kind of the point person on this. I've been setting these things up for enough years, for the past 14 years or so. Mm -hmm. And uh, every every morning after sunrise we get together and see how we can make it better the next night. Yeah, yeah. We listen to all the ideas and I'm a yeah. filter for the ideas. and kind of know a lot of the different pieces. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the like there's very, very prominent pieces. Of course, we have the, the fire in the middle. Mm -hmm. There is uh, now being laid a pattern and people are gonna mm -hmm. actually gonna dance it and destroy it. Well, they're gonna dance it into the earth. They're gonna, you know, it's all creation and letting go. It's creating art and returning it to its source. And part of the creating of the community art is to get as many people involved in creating the art, in creating the magic because uh, people help support what they create. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Another thing that's very prominent is this uh, this bird. I'm, I'm assuming it's an eagle. It's towards phoenix. the east. It's a, it's a phoenix. phoenix it's, it's towards a the phoenix. east. It's a phoenix. And that was the best place to... Um, it's towards the east, towards the rising sun. It's between the, the northern gate and the eastern gate. That's kind of where the sun rises over yeah. there. And that was created by a group of our, our, our friends that uh, did a, a winter gathering um, and got people together during the winter to create this beautiful artwork to um, fly here at Fire Dance uh, this year. Uh, last couple of years, we created a phoenix that we would burn in the morning. Mm -hmm. and a little bit like Burning Man, uh, the effigy. It was an off offering to the fire about renewal. Yes, an offering yeah. of a piece of art to be returned and sent out with intentions. Community artwork where people would draw and make art on it and it would be sent yeah. up. We wanted, to, and they came up with this as a little bit more permanent. We won't burn, burn this, <laughs> but it's kind it. of a symbol. But people invent new ways to show each other how much they love each other. Yeah. You know? what, I, what I see also is you have the patterns here. We have altars in the in the corners. For directions. Yes, yeah. for the direction in the east. Where the now this is just getting set up and people will add their energies to it, add their, their jewelry, add offerings to them, flowers. Uh, okay, intentions, so this is prayers, things to read, things to inspire. Yeah, so yeah. we're just getting set up. This is, you know, we're just yeah. getting set up. People are also now. around the circle are putting like good wishes. Good the wishes, right, prayer, prayer we flags. call it prayer flags, intentions. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the more people put into it, the more they get out of it. And each one of these is a different uh, person, represents a whole life and a whole vision. Each one of these little uh, flags. And each one of the flags, every time, the breeze blows, it sends the prayer out into the world. At least that's the, the magical that's, symbology of it. Yeah, Much yeah. like the Tibetan prayer wheels that turn and send the prayers out. And uh, one of the meditations that we encourage is people walk around and just read all of the different the prayers. Or uh, see the, what, well, how see, great, so it's yeah. it really sharing. Now what I miss is the altar to the north. There's a big flag there, but there's no so altar. But there will be. There will be, and that's the west, west over there. Okay. Uh, orientation. There's the caduceus. There's a lot of the drums. There'll be an altar there that's not there right now. We're just setting okay. it up, but there and will here's be. Here's where say so the main music uh, is. Yeah, we call this the gratitude zone over here. This will be in a mandala in the shape of a heart later on, and all the drummers take turns playing in here, and the dancers, because we keep the uh, energy circumambulating within the container. Within this is kind of an alchemical vessel, where all the ingredients we come in through the gate and we bring our lives and we dance our dances and kind of turn our personal lead into gold by dancing night after night after night. And in this place is where the dancers can solo and offer their gratitude to, see. to the drummers. Yeah. But and it it, it's basically, it's a community effort, all the people help to, to set it up mm -hmm. and you are more like a, yeah, the director of the, of the thing. Kind of the, the magician that juggles all the pieces and kind of catches them and keeps them tossing in the air. Okay, thank you, okay. Jeff McBride. Hey, for the life with the code to revive and this is survival Natural, magical, patterns of percussion There's no discussion, so listen up We're ecstatic, connected to the powers that be With a healing, rhythmic sinner Chief, temple tribe, start to pick the prime A shamanic and artistic, archaic revival Thoughts from self-explanatory planetary information Is our situation a mystical, rhythmic beat Take it over and over and over and over with a sound Altering our state of consciousness Nevertheless, a game we accept well, we're here at Fire Dance and uh, it's a thing about ritual, but it's also a thing about magic. Now there's two kinds of magic and Romy here is about the other kind of magic. Yes, yes? I'm a, a real magician. <laughs> yes. Although what that is, who knows. But you are working with illusions. I am a professional magician, I work with sleight of hand. Mm -hmm. 
I do close-up magic and stage and comedy. <laughs> but it's very important to me that I use real magic, that I ex use my sleight of hand magic to express magic, oh. i.e. to take my audience into the realm of magic. Mm -hmm. What well, is there a common root in, say, sleight of hand magic and the mystical type of magic, the, 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 so. the spiritual magic? I think so. I think that the root is you do sleight of hand magic and the audience don't know, doesn't know how it's done. And the moment they don't know how it's done and they're trying to think and they haven't got any answers, they're catapulted into that place where they don't have any answers. The yeah. usual rules of reality don't apply. And the, the brain suddenly thinks, ah, and that's the realm of magic. Mm. Some people define magic as oh. a change in consciousness, and that's what yes. you're doing by sleight of hand. Yes. You're tripping them into... You trip them into consciousness, they don't realize, and suddenly they're there, and they come back again pretty quickly, but what happens while they're there? And that's what we do as magicians, because we think it's a good thing that people go into that realm where mm. the usual rules of reality don't apply. So what do you do while you're there and with them? Each person has their own experience. Ah, you let them have their own experience. Yeah. For me, I want them all to go into that place. Each individual has their own place. But where the, it's that moment of wonder. Yeah. That moment. You know when a child looks at a soap bubble? That moment of wonder where you've seen your first and you're... The first time you've ever seen something. Yeah. That is that moment of wonder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That little five-year-old child is... That's the moment of wonder for an adult, and we don't get it enough. And a fire ritual like this, which is uh, about 450 people around yes. a fire, are there moments like that? Yeah. What yeah. are those moments? For me, I look at these people, and I see them in their joy, and I see them dancing with wild abandon, and they're not thinking anymore. And that's the thing about magic. We stop people thinking. Because when we think, we're just logical, we're not in the moment. We're judging. When we think, we're yeah, judging. we're critical, we're going, I must do this, I mustn't do that. This is logical. When they're dancing wild abandon, they're dancing with the stars. Mm. They, are, they are dancing with their whole self, mm. and they're in this other world. Mm. And that's the magic. Thank you, Romani. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>
So it's uh, like a design, it's a mandala of Thanksgiving. <laughs> which will eventually, like a sand mandala, will disappear. Yes, it will disappear, we'll dance okay. it into the earth. I'll be there with you. Okay. I think it's important that you take a look and make sure that we're putting down it. The thickness point was, and I could say that I was in that thinking myself. What did that um, mean? That, 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 not that nobody could do it. This seems weird. Well, when I came here, I was uh, welcomed, as you saw, uh, Al being welcomed by everybody, but there was, because I'm uh, from far away, uh, there was a special commission, which is Uriel and Fred, Rattlesnake Fred, uh, Fred, and you were welcomed. Well, this is, this I thought that was great. That's a great Thank idea. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure to serve you and, and welcome you to the fire dance community. It is. Uh, Usually we're the so honored to have you yeah, in our is, presence. The week yeah. Yeah. But uh, this idea of well, also when I when I uh, drove the car up, someone said, "Welcome home," and I thought that was it. That's a brilliant. Yeah. 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 We are home now because this this is like home because we're with all of our family. This is a big family out here, and there's all kinds of love going around and around and around. If you know what that's like, it's just a beautiful thing. That keeps me coming back. Because I love each and every person here at Fire Dance. Okay, like a brother and a sister here. Fred, uh, people here come from all walks of life, but you, you're a farmer. Yes, I am. I am an avocado farmer in Rainbow, California. Oh, yeah? Well, that's a good yes. place. And, yeah. and, yeah. and I also grow macadamia nuts with my wife, and uh, we have mango trees as well. Do you feel like a special connection to the earth because of that? Oh, I certainly do. I love I love gardening as well. And, um, I love to uh, to get out in the grove and pick. And I love to bring lots of avocados to Fire Dance and share them with everybody. We will. Thank you, yes. And uh, oh. at fire dance, there are of course also children, and the children get their own little camp, and they're taken care of, and they do painting, and they make masks like this beautiful, beautiful masks. Well, kids didn't make that an adult did. An adult did. What did you make then? Oh, this is the example. I made this one. You made this one. Well, can you put it on? <laughs> Ooh. There's a little community, and as Fred has explained us, you're supposed to feel at home. To be at home, and being at home is also taking care of the little ones. Fire transformation, fire revolution. Thank you. 
Stand up. Everyone stand. Hear the drum. Feel the drum. Know the drum. Move to the drum. Someone play a drum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's <I'm> right. <laughs> Rise. By popular demand, it's on its way around. Who wants a World War III? Not a heart of mine that sound. So shine your light, your peaceful, loving light. Shine your light, your peaceful, loving light. Shine your light. Your peaceful, loving light shine your light. Your peaceful, loving light. The towers of Babylon have fallen down. Your peaceful, loving light shine your light. Your peaceful, loving light shine your light. Your peaceful, loving light.